Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Hindata and in this video we will see uh, how to draw a random sample by using with and without replacement in R and then after collecting a sample we will also estimate the, the population mean and after estimating the, the mean we will also uh, I will also sh show you how to show that uh, the sample mean is unbiased for population mean and after uh, looking at the we will also see uh, how to obtain the sampling distribution of an estimate and then how to represent it by a histogram okay so let us uh, start working so first uh, I will import the data uh, um, as I have my data in the Excel file, so I will import the data by going to the uh, the import data set and then from Excel and then I will go to the location where my data is saved. Then I will browse it and then I will import it. As I have already imported this data set, so I am not going to import it again. So I will just run this to show you how my data is uh, look like. Right, so it, as it will take a few seconds to show. So we'll wait, uh, yeah. So now uh, here you can see my data is on the yield. So yield for 50 plots is given. Uh, this is, uh, let's say yield in quintals, it is given for 50 plots. This is my total population. Okay, I'm going to uh, draw a sample from this yield okay let's say it is my population so i am uh, saving this data into the population object okay so i'll run this also and uh, my my data is saved in the population now okay now here i have used this get wd and set wd functions these are just to set the the, the directory uh, where my my files will get saved okay so get wd is just to see the folder where my file will be saved so let's see uh, where is my location now so my location is um, this I have already set this location if you want to change this you can change by set wd function and you can give the path to that folder like this okay now uh, I'll start working with my questions so first I will draw a random sample of size 20 by using with replacement and then I will estimate the average yield okay so now um, because uh, I, I am using the the sample function that is used to draw a random sample and uh, you know that every time we draw the random sample the values may change so to fix the sample for particular seed I am using this set dot seed function um, and this is the seed number one two three so for this particular seed number my the particular sample will be fixed okay so every time when I, I will run this uh, code I will get the same data uh, units in the sample right so first I am going to collect uh, a sample by using with replacement from the population so I will I will write population and then this is square bracket and this is uh, I am collecting the sample by using indexing uh, bracket okay indexing means what it it will collect all the units at, for, from the particular um, position or from the particular location okay so I will use the sample function to collect a sample and my sample is going to come from this population and population is having um, 50 rows so it will count the rows by n row so from 1 to 50 row it will collect all the rows uh, all 20 rows of size 20 right as my sample size is of 20 and replace is equal to true so as i am writing replace is equal to true that means my units uh, may repeat in my sample right so that is why it is called simple random sampling with replacement comma space so as in my data set i have uh, the information only on one variable but if there were more variables then it will collect it would give the sample on the, the information on all the variables if i uh, draw the sample by using this indexing okay so let us run uh, this srswr sample and uh, you can see this is my collected data uh, of size 20 from the population of size 50 by using with replacement now uh, let us 
uh, let's see what is the mean the estimated mean from this sample so i'll use mean function and the mean obtained by this function is 31.4 so it is showing that the estimated mean uh, mean yield uh, is 31 quintals in the population in the total plots of 50 okay similarly we can uh, draw a random sample by using without replacement the code is same only we will remove this part okay so if we do not write replace is equal to true by default it collects it gives the sample by collecting by using the sample by using the without replacement procedure right so i will use the same function only just i am removing this replace is equal to from, uh, true from there so uh, let's see how what is given in my sample is how many units are being collected so five units you can see as my sample size was five here yeah, i have fixed the sample size should be five so i uh, have the collected sample of five units from the population of size 50 were this okay now let's say i'm interested in estimating the population mean see the population mean uh, estimated by with the without replacement is 41 right you can see the mean is mean and without replacement is greater than the with replacement right hmm. now i want to see whether my sample mean is unbiased for population mean so what we do to, to check the unbiasedness the we uh, first we find out the sampling distribution of the statistic and then the, the mean of the sampling distribution should be equal to the true value of the population mean then we'll say the sample mean is unbiased for population mean right so first we, we will compute the population mean so let's see what is the population mean i will use this code to uh, to compute the population mean as you can see the population mean is 31.82 now uh, to obtain the sampling distribution we should know how many possible samples can be drawn uh, from the sample so if i use the simple random sampling without replacement and if my sample size is 5 and population size is 50 then uh, total possible samples that can be drawn from the population are capital n c n right so we i will use uh, this choose function that means 50 c 5 so this will give me all possible samples that can be drawn from the population let's see how many samples can be drawn so it is giving this large value means this number of these many number of possible samples can be drawn of size 5 from the population of 50 this one how much it is 21 lakh 18760 so these are the possible samples that can be drawn of size 5 now um, what will i do i will collect all possible samples and then i will find the mean for all possible samples and then mean of means so first i will draw i will find out the mean mean of all these possible samples and i'm going to store all the means in then this sample disk it is the sampling distribution okay so for this because i'm going to repeat the same sample uh, 21 lakh 18760 time so i'll use replicate function and in the replicate function i will write how many times I, I want to repeat i want to repeat this number of times and this is all possible samples right comma i also want the mean for all these possible samples so under this i will write mean of the samples that are being collected from the population and it should be of size 5 and here i have specified n is equal to 5 so this will get, um, uh, compute all the possible means of all possible samples if you want to know what are the means you can um, run this so i'm not going to do this because uh, the value is too large so it may take time right but you you if you want you can see you can run this also so uh, as we are not interested in all possible means i am interested in mean of all the means so i will use this mean of sample disk right so i will run this and then um, as the my data is too large all possible samples are this much so it may take 
time it will take time to compute the mean so we will have to wait for for a moment so let's wait and then we will see what is the the um, the, sem the 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 expected value of the sampling distribution right so average of the sampling distribution it is taking too much time but we will have to wait and if the this mean of all possible means is equal to the population mean that then we will say that the sample mean is unbiased for population mean okay so we'll wait for this output now it is taking too much time after looking at this we will uh, draw the histogram to see what is the distribution of this okay so let us wait for this it is taking too much time as you can see this is very large number see um, it will work uh, meanwhile uh, let us draw a histogram of the sampling distribution okay so for to draw the histogram i will use hist function of all the means so means are saved in sample list so i'll write hist in the bracket sample list uh, and then x lab x lab will give the title to the x axis and in x axis all sample means uh, will be uh, um located right so i will write x lab is equal to sample means comma main main is the main title of the histogram so i will write sampling distribution of the statistic right and uh, after we will get the, the output for mean i will run this histogram and then uh, once the histogram is done will we will also be maybe interested in knowing if the population this sampling distribution is normally distributed then what is its standard deviation so we will also calculate the standard deviation for the sampling distribution okay let me run it again as it is taking too much time no doubt as we know already the sample mean is uh, unbiased for population mean so it will be equal to the population mean and we have already calculated that the population mean is 31.82 so the mean of this sample this will also be that 31.82 but we will have to wait now yeah now it has come so as we can see it is 31.823 it is same approximately same only this uh, only one uh, digit is different okay so by this by looking at this we can see uh, the sample mean is unbiased for population mean now let us draw the histogram right so as you can see when i run this hist function you can see in the right hand side let me zoom this histogram uh, it is the bell shaped right let me zoom it so that it could you can see it properly you can see uh, uh, the approximately it is normally distributed right it is having the bell shaped okay and the mean of this sampling distribution is 31.82 so here 31.82 somewhere it is lying here but what is the deviation in all the means from the true mean right so this can be obtained by the sd function a standard deviation so you can see this is the deviation in all the means um, from the true mean right so this is how we can um, uh, show that the sample mean is unbiased and how how to obtain the sampling distribution and how to uh, draw it by a histogram i hope it was useful to you and if you liked my video please like and subscribe my channel